Hey guys, Gaston from Connecting Tennis here. Welcome to another video. Today I want to keep showing you something uh, on the forehand. You know, I like forehand, it was always my weapon. And I know you guys like to learn more about the forehand. So what I want to show you today is the difference and how we approach an inside out and an inside in. So I'm actually going to show you some little things from here and then I'm going to hit with somebody to show you more like a, like a real thing, okay, like a real game. So let's get right into it. So let me show you one thing first before we get into a hitting. The balls that I, that I mean with this is the one that you are, you know, you hit in the middle of the rally, you here, you play a backhand. After you can open your opponent with a good backhand and you kind of like come already to the court, okay? So here you open your opponent with a good backhand. You have him already out of the court. Now is when you, after this shot here, you pull and you start, instead of recovering all the way, you start to, to take a little of the court, thinking in getting here with, a, with an inside out and an inside in for the next ball, okay, for the next ball. Is it the next ball is gonna be a winner? No, the idea is that you, now that you took him out of the court and you're able to step up with your forehand, you have to be aware of two things. One is the down the line. Depending how much you took him out of the court, he might come with him down the line. If he does that, that's okay. You, you're gonna recover. You start over to build the point. Now, if you are able to get in here, hit, and you see that the, the ball was a good ball, you're gonna kind of like recover. But now your middle of the court is not the middle. Okay, now your middle is not this one. Now what you have here, it's a new channel of play, and you have to be in the middle of that channel, okay? So the middle of the court, okay, changes all the time depending where you guys are keeping the rally. If we are having a rally here of backhand cross court, okay, backhand against backhand, now we're playing in a channel where my middle of the court is different. So what you have to pay attention here is again, cover your middle of the court here, okay? Again, if he goes out of the channel and he takes you with a good down the line, even if it's a very good down the line, he's gonna be from outside. So the ball will come kind of like in this direction. It's not gonna be a ball that is gonna open and open all the time. It's a ball that is gonna come. The more uh, you go back, the more chances you're gonna have to get it because from outside here, you understand that the ball has to come diagonally and it's gonna get closer and closer to you because it's drawing a line to you. So, what we want to learn here is how to, and I'm going to show you this hitting, it's how to use the hips, okay, the rotation of the hips to hit both balls, alright? So let's get into some hitting. All right, so you guys could see there, on this video I didn't show you any, any kind of biomechanics or anything. I just wanted you to understand two things. First, that you can take some action instead of those balls running back and playing a high backhand. You can actually, once you reach the core open, you stay a little, you cover the middle, okay? This is more important to understand a little more of how you have to stand and how you have to play on the court and how you have to cover your middle of the court. Okay, not the middle of the court. So this ball you could see here, I opened not too much, he came back deep, I took action, and I moved him down there, okay, down the line. So now what? I am in a in charge position where I am uh, kind of like trying to control the point, and now my middle change, okay? From here, I have this court that we were playing, I changed 
now he probably will run there and now my middle changes again okay my middle is gonna be on the other side so it's very important that you have the court but you have to understand that the, the middles of the court are moving all the time depending where you hit the ball so if you're gonna play you're gonna take the action and you're gonna play this ball from here down the line you have to understand that recovering maybe here is not the most ideal thing because you're not getting the middle of the court you need to recover your middle of the court now what happened if he arrives there he plays it down the line well he's down the line has no chance to go outside his ball is going to start to come more to the middle because he's hitting actually more like a linear ball if he hits cross court which maybe is the most normal thing to arrive there and defend a forehand cross court you're already in the middle of the court and you will be again in a position where you're going to be able to control so this video guys is just to understand help you understand the way you move on the court matters the way you understand your positions matter i see it all the time in the rec level you know players just getting here smacking a forehand down the line thinking it's gonna be a winner it's not a winner the player in the other side just arrives play a, a normal ball you know a normal ball cross court it's a winner and you're like oh good ball it's actually not a good ball you know yeah of course respect great ball but the mistake was yours because you opened him here, you took the action, you took the control of the point, but then you didn't recover, and you didn't cover the middle of the court, all right? All right, guys, that was it for today. This is what I wanted to show you today. I feel it's really important because I have seen this mistake many, many, many times, even in people, you know, that send me videos, just trying to help them with, the, with, you know, with their, their strokes. And I see when they're playing points, this is something that happens a lot. So understanding the court, it's crucial to playing good tennis, all right? Thank you guys for watching. If you didn't subscribe to the channel, please subscribe, comment below, suggesting questions, anything. I'm really like, uh, I'm really happy to, to have the chance to help you. And you guys interacting, it's, it's actually the, the best thing. So I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.